Marion Spears Carr. He's a, a counselor, a um, recruiter, and a stand-up comedian, and he's going to talk to you about the accomplishment culture. Yeah. How does it feel to be an a overachiever? How does it feel? How does it feel to be in a room full of overachievers? You've achieved something that 1.7 million other Charlotte people didn't achieve by coming to Ignite Charlotte. And it's pretty great, man. Let's be smart about it. Give yourself a round of applause. Come on. Come on. You're all part of the Charlotte Overachievers Club. Isn't that great? My applause slides right behind me. Yes, what is it about being an overachiever that we all have inside of us? Let me tell you what that's about. We all have that ability. There's the applause slide. Go ahead, give yourself an applause. Yeah. Isn't that great? What is it about that? Ignite Charlotte, we're all about ideas. We're all about new thought. Just by the fact that you showed up tonight meant that you were trying to get something different. Some of you might be here because you're married to me, my wife. <laughs> Some of you might be here because your boyfriend or girlfriend, but some of you may just didn't have anything else to do. Just didn't have anything else to do. I thought, well, maybe I could drink a beer tonight, or I could go to Charlotte Ignite and learn something and then drink a beer. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Woo! That's what we're talking about. But here I want to talk to you about the fact that we all inside of us have the ability to achieve greatness. We have the ability to achieve something that no one else is. We are the made to accomplish stuff. We are the accomplishment culture. Everyone in this room is an accomplishment culture. And what is that about? What keeps us and holds us back? We're looking for ideas. We're looking for things that will teach us stuff, right? But we're in the accomplishment culture. We're in this new age where technology is blowing our minds. I went from a Blackberry to an iPhone, and I went, oh, good grief, where did that come from? Amazing. Amazing. But it, we have to break it down. What holds us back from being accomplished? What holds us back? Well, the one thing is, is the first thing is we think of everything as task. We think of little things, right? They're just tasks. They're not, they don't mean anything. But for me, they're micro accomplishments. Getting up and just doing something. Me being on this stage is a micro accomplishment that I needed to achieve in order to reach the macro accomplishment or my goal, which was to be a better public speaker and to share my thoughts with you. Coming to Ignite Charlotte, being part of this thought process, is a micro-accomplishment for each of you. For some of you, a micro-accomplishment might be just getting out of bed. I've coached people who have so struggled with everything that's going on, that getting out of the bed is a hard thing for them. And they don't think about the value that they bring to the table. They don't think about the things that they've done that are great. You see, we are not trained to write down our accomplishments. We just go through the motions every day, but each of you make something special in everything you do. And it's important that we journal them. It's important that we remember them. It's important that when we make something special for someone, that we make a note of it. Because it's all of those layers of micro accomplishments that come into our lives that builds us up. So when we face a giant, when we face a challenge, we can overcome that from our memory, from our success. My favorite story, my favorite example of micro-accomplishments comes from the Old Testament. And it comes from the story of David and Goliath. For those of you who know the story, I'll just give you the 30-second the version, the Marion Spears Car Bible version. The army of God, the army of the Israelites, were a bunch of wimps. This big redneck named Goliath, who was nine feet tall and had 132 pounds of armor, stood out in front of him and said, I will open up a can of Philistine whoop ass on every one of y'all. And nobody would take him, except this little boy named David, the little shepherd boy, that's me and you. He knew what he had inside. He went to the authority figure, King Saul, and said, I got this, I got this. And King Saul, that authority figure, that boss, that mother, that father, that teacher that's put us down, goes, you can't, you're a little boy. That's a big old redneck. You ain't got that. Yeah, I got it. I'm a shepherd. I've already killed a lion. I've already slayed a bear. You see, he understood his previous accomplishments. He understood the value that he brought to the table. He understood the accomplishment culture because he knew he could take that man. So for you, as members of the city of Charlotte, you have an opportunity to overcome giants, but you've got to remember the lions and bears that you killed in the past. 
right? We have to remember that. So to be a part of the accomplishment culture, start realizing that each one of you have value. Each one of you have accomplishments. And start killing bears and lions out there. Thank you. That's my time.